Hi. So first question, technical issue. I just did a recording without the background because I couldn't be bothered or I was in the middle of doing other things. And then when I listened to it, the sound, I didn't have my microphone in front of me. The sound was terrible. It's a good record of what I was and am doing, but not really suitable for what I want to do, which is to share with you and to give you an opportunity to communicate in English. English communication starts with listening. You listen, you hear, you understand a little bit or a lot. Sometimes you relate to what you hear to what you have already read somewhere before. I'm just talking to you and telling you what I did today. I went to the VIC, the Vienna International Center, the UN here in Vienna, to the Toastmasters meeting. Toastmasters? Toastmasters, you say, what's that? Toastmasters is a speaking club, a rhetoric club. It exists all over the world and it gives you opportunities to improve your English speaking. It goes, it paces you through a particular program, go through various phases and levels through different projects where you gain confidence and expertise in speaking and presenting in English. You get good feedback from your peers, from other people. At the UN, our club has people from all the various organizations at the VIC. So we have members from the IAEA, International Atomic Energy Agency, the CGVTO, the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, the United Nations Office in Vienna, and some of the other smaller offices. Sometimes we have talks about the environment. In fact, today, one of our evaluators was somebody who had attended the COP26. What's the COP26? That's not my topic. <laughs> if you've been watching the news, which I haven't, quite honestly, I haven't been watching much news lately. Our background information right now, you know, I had to go into the VIC with a mask on. I prefer the meetings at home through the camera because then I don't have to wear a face mask. It was okay. It was a good meeting. It was great to see each other in person, to meet a few of the new members in person. And I gained a new mentor. No, I became a mentor for a new member. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about respect for one another. You know, I promote certain values of mutual prosperity, interdependence, and universally shared values. And in line with interdependence, I recognize every one of us is an expert. But maybe you are not an expert in my field, or I'm not an expert in your area. So we can learn from one another. We can listen to each other respectfully. And we can ask questions without feeling silly. Because nobody knows everything. And we can all learn from one another. And sometimes I don't know how to pronounce some of the new words that I'm not familiar with. But in this expert environment, we can learn from one another and we are there to support one another. So I don't remember what else I said, except I was waffling on about my background because I showed you my cluttered office behind me. Now what you see is the view from my balcony from the house that we left a couple of years ago. We moved to Vienna two or three years ago, three years ago now. And this 
is when we were living in the countryside and I took photos of this tree from our balcony day in, day out, every season of the year over the many, many years that we lived there. And at least I can reproduce it here and pretend that I'm back there. So enjoy it with me. And if you have any questions, feel free to shoot them my way with a comment underneath. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and feel free to get in touch. Have a nice evening. That's what it is here now. But of course, you can be watching this any time of day or night anywhere around the world because this miracle of internet. I'm in Vienna. You are somewhere. Today is Tuesday evening. And now for you, it is whatever time, whatever place. And we can still communicate. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Oh, I've just been blown away by lots of other thoughts that I had. I'll have to make another message for you because... There were a lot of things going through my mind today. So that's it for now.